What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 18th Java programming tutorial. Um, so today I'm going to be teaching, well not really teaching you guys, but helping you guys understand why we, can, why we use polymorphism. Now in this example I'm going to be showing you guys basically how to print out all the start methods within each of the car each of the classes that is classified under the superclass car. So BMW is under the superclass of car and focus is under the superclass of car. Now this could be a very tedious process if we have hundreds of different types of cars. Um, we would have to call each of their functions individually but with polymorphism it makes it really easy to do this. Um, so the first thing we're going to do just to make this a little more um, I don't know what you call it, a little more relevant to this tutorial. We're going to create two more classes and we're just going to create two more different cars. Now, first off, let's make a new Java class and what car should we call this? Let's call this Civic. Yeah, good old Civic. And of course, we got to extend car, like always. And let's just copy this uh, little method here. We're going to make another start method within the Civic class. And we're going to just say, instead of focus, we're going to say civic has been started. And make another new Java class. And what should we call this one? Uh, let's call this one a Mustang. Create that. And of course, extend the car class. And let's copy and paste our method. And we'll say Mustang has been started. So all we've done so far is we created two new classes. Um, basically one is called Civic and the other one is Mustang and they both have one method each and they they share it's the same type of method, it's just a start method and we're going to be calling these start methods from within our YouTube tutorials class nah, using polymorphism of course so to use polymorphism we declare the super class first and then we say car and then we could say car or let's call it, what should we call it? Let's call it BMW car is equal to new BMW. And then we can make another car, focus car is equal to new focus. So we're just creating polymorphic uh, objects out of our, out of our different types of cars. So we just go car, civic car is equal to new Civic and car Mustang car is equal to new Mustang. Now, if we wanted to call each and every method within the car class, um, we could put this into a list. So let's create an array list just like we did in one of our I think it was the first tutorial we started on array lists in um, Java, in our first advanced tutorial, obviously. So to make an array list, just to refresh your memory, let's go array list, and then in our angle brackets, we put the type of data that we want to store. So we go angle brackets car, and then we could name this, so cars is equal to new array list, and then our angle brackets once more. We put our data type in, and then our open brackets and then close it with a semicolon and of course we need to add the import for the java.util.arraylist and now we have an array list of cars so basically we're allowed to store car data within this list so this makes it really easy using polymorphism makes us so much easier because we could we can store all these different types of cars into this list if we created a BMW object, a Focus object, a Civic object, and a Mustang object, they'd be all different object types. And that would not make this, it wouldn't make it as clean. Like, this makes it a little more clean. We're allowed to, we could put in all these different objects. I didn't really explain that, sorry. We can put these similar objects now into this array list. Before, if we just declared it as BMW, BMW car is equal to new BMW, and then focus, focus car is equal to new focus, we couldn't store this in the array list because all the data types are different. So now we just need to add in each different type of car. 
So let's just go cars dot, and then we have a little method for that, and we could add a car type. So we could add BMW car, and then let's just copy and paste this, because programmers are very lazy. And let's put in focus. Whoa, what happened there? Copy this, let's put in the focus, the Civic, and then the Mustang. So now we just stored each type of car into the array list that takes a data type of car. And then what we could do, we could print out each of the start methods by using an enhanced for loop. So to make an enhanced for loop, as we did in our other tutorials, we're just going to go for car and then make a temp variable in cars. So we just made a temporary variable that is of type car, and then we put the thing that we want to iterate through, and that is the, our array list of cars, and then all we have to do is go temp dot start. And we could call that method, and then basically it will go through the whole list of cars, calling each of the cars start methods individually. So if we run this, run run file, we're going to get BMW has been started, Focus has been started, Civic has been started, and Mustang has been started. So a quick little recap here of what we did. We have four classes here, all of different types of cars, and we have our general car class, which is our super class, that is inherited by each of the different individual cars. Now we use polymorphism to create objects out of these cars, just so they have a generic, so they have um, the same object type. And then we created an array list of type car and stored each of the individual cars that we created up here into the array list. And then finally, we just created an enhanced for loop to print out all the start methods that we created within each of the car classes above. So if you guys have any questions about this tutorial, I know this is kind of a confusing concept and we put in quite a few concepts here actually we used polymorphism um, inheritance we used array lists and enhanced for loops we used quite a few things so if you guys understood this great job you guys are really on your way to becoming great java programmers and yeah so if you have if you have any questions please leave something in the comments below and i'll get back to you uh so see you guys later